We're in East Park. We're a group of first year uh, zoology students at Hull University. And currently we are undergoing a little practical um, in this uh, bird cage. We're just observing some ducks currently. My group's observing lemurs about behaviour when they've got food and when they haven't, see what the differences are. This is the culmination of a series of months of effort uh, for our first year biologists, zoologists uh, and marine biologists on our practical biology module. We're out today in the Animal Education Centre of, of East Park uh, with mostly our zoology cohort. And I think today we're focusing on the animal behaviour groups, focusing on the impact of enrichment feeding on captive animal behaviour. So we're looking at uh, some whistling ducks inside the walkthrough aviary um, and some ring-tailed lemurs um, just outside uh, and they're going to be looking at how does enrichment feeding change the behaviour of these groups and in a couple of weeks they're going to give a scientific presentation uh, to the whole cohort uh, to tell us what they found. We're looking at the aggression in the ducks and sort of before and after feeding. We're going to just have a look every sort of 10 minutes and see if they've shown any tendencies and if there's more after feeding or during feeding. Yeah. We've just made a little table and going to just observe things and then write down yeah. what type of behaviour that is. Biology doesn't happen in the lecture theatre. Um, if you want to teach students about biological principles, then you have to go to where the biology is and they have to observe it and absorb it in that environment. They wait for the dominant to finish eating because he's been eating non-stop. He's kind of had a couple uh, breaks, but he seems to be staying around the food source. And then when he backs away, uh, the next two, the next two have uh, currently eating on the food source now. Well, the fourth one, the one who hasn't eaten yet, is staying around the group, but not near the food source. He comes out before the female check everything's all right and there's like no problem and also females are more dominant than males so she's eating first and he's not and he's watching to make sure that she's safe. Well that just shows that she's in charge. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't Doesn't it? Because he was just like oh boy food. It's just teaching us to like sort of just view them and like look at them and see mm. different things like even things that you wouldn't usually see if you were just walking through. But if you see that First hand, you know, I think it, it really sets it in stone for you. Gives us first hand experience. It's kind, of, it's kind of good we have access to stuff like this. Being here looking at different animals, you know what their behaviour is like here, and then when you go into the wild, you can see what their behaviour is different and like how they are in their own habitat. 